All right, this is the old stator that's still mounted in the housing on the Grizzly. This is the first time, I've already tested this off camera, this is the first time that I've ever had the windings go bad on a stator. It's always been this little pickup button down here that's mounted. You can see that little button right there, the little silver thing at the end of the probe. And I'll show you here in, in a minute what it looks like on a new one. Oh, but there's more. I am uh, batting a thousand today. Okay. This is an older stator that I got three years ago or something. My box, oh, let me go get the box. Hold on. Stay with me. The box says, evidently, that I changed these stators out. I think I just did, one was burnt and I just did them both around the same time, within a week of each other. On the 98 Grizzly, the red and white wires, you got my ohm setting set here to 2K on ohms. And it's supposed to be uh, 459 to 561. I think it's the same for both the 98 and the 99. Uh, 459 to 561, and it tested at 498, so it was okay. The green and the brown wires are supposed to be uh, 270 to 330, and it was 301, so it was okay. I'm not going to get into the 99 Grizzly right now. You can see it on the screen, but okay. So, I don't know if I can do this with one hand, but we're going to try it. The way that this plug is oriented... There's a little clip. Let's see, let me get out. Okay, the clip is right here on the bottom where my finger is moving. Okay, the red is on the right and the white is on the left. So the red and the white are supposed to be together. And I'm not getting anything. Hold on. I may end up pushing that out if I'm not careful. All right, I am at, oh shit. Five oh three. That's within spec because the red and the white is supposed to be 459 to 561. And I'm at 503. When I tested it three years ago, it was at 498. So it's lost a little bit. It's lost um, five, five thousandths of an ohm, or what? what is that? Tens, hundreds, thousands. Yeah, five thousandths of an ohm. So that's doable. All right, now we go down to the bottom plug, and I'm trying to hit that. Hit it and quit it. All right, we are at 556. The parameters that it's supposed to be in for the green and brown wires, 270 to 330. So the coil here is shot. The pickup button for the first time is actually still good within spec. Okay, now I got the brand new stator and I couldn't get a reading. And I thought, oh God, my multimeter's screwed up. Okay. This is what that little button looks like. And it gets mounted in there in the housing. You will notice it's chewed up a little bit, which I don't love. And it's got a green and a blue wire on it. <laughs> Didn't think much about that to begin with. But I also have a red and a white wire, or several red and white wires here, okay? Now, this is the same on the old one. There's three wires here that goes into the harness plug that looks like that on the, on the left side, okay? 
Now, there's three wires. All right, there's three wires on the other one. And I got to thinking, so I checked my red wire and my green wire, which are on top of the plug here. Okay, see that? The red and the green are top, right and left. And I was testing it, it took me a minute, and I got nothing. Okay, then there's also a black and a red in there. Okay, and do you know what some buddy did is they wired this plug wrong. All right, I'm going to show you. I get nothing. Okay, let me get the multimeter here. God, this is tough. We got red. Let's just say they transposed or they substituted green for white. I got no reading, okay? I've got the probe stuck in there. You can't see it. Now, the green and the blue, remember, are going to that pickup button, all right? Watch this. When I get the green and the blue touching, look at that, 570, which is still high because it's supposed to go to 561. It's supposed to be 561 is the upper end, all right? Now on the lower end, and I'm going top to bottom, not side to side top and side to side bottom. 302, and I read it earlier, it was 303. Somebody has wired this plug wrong. Now, I can push those pins out and mount it properly. All right, 302, let's just call it that. And the parameter is 270. I think I said, I think I'm reading it from here, to 330. So it's in spec. The wires are just wrong. Now I'm not sure which wire is supposed to go where though, or if it even makes a difference. Now I've got another problem. What the hell is that? Okay. I guess that's a piece of something. Look at this in the probe right there. Let's see if it's that way on the other machine. Hold on. I'll look at it. See that little tube? That's right there. That's a piece of insulation. Okay. We don't have one of those. Yeah, we do. It's in there. It's right there. On the other one. Okay, it's in there. Here's my other problem. I grabbed my gasket. Yeah, 270 to 330 on the green and brown and the 459 to 561 on the red and white. And I think it's probably okay, but it's a little on the heavy side um where the red and white are supposed to be <laughs> i grabbed a gasket out of the shop and this is for an np263 transmission seal for my duramax now i have a gasket for this somewhere and i'm going to go look for it for the grizzly but i want to show you the difference i just grabbed it quickly i wasn't paying attention look at this Here's the gasket I made last time. I made that out of cork rubber gasket and put RTV sealer or whatever on it, the right stuff. It's pretty flimsy. And I'm pretty sure I have one in the house, I just don't know where it is. So, I am not making another gasket. It took me forever to build that one. Um, and I'm not definitely not reusing it. You can see where it's ripped there around the hole and whatever it worked but it it was weeping 
So I'm gonna have the right gasket. I have a brand new stator for the 98 and the 99, both ordered, two gaskets. And what I'm thinking about doing is rather than taking a chance putting this one in, um, especially if I don't have the gasket right now, the gasket and the stators are both supposed to come in at the same time. So I might just wait till I get the stator and test it first. But my word of advice is always test your stators before you put them in the machine to make sure that they fall within the tolerances. So anyway, I pulled this mud flap off and I had it zip tied up here. You can see it wiggling in there. Um, I had to cut the zip tie just to get me a little extra room to get this off. I've got the shifter bungeed up out of the way, mostly out of the way. So I don't have to take the shifter linkage off um, and then readjust it. It's a pain in the ass to readjust it. It can be done. I mean, it's not fun, but it's a pain in the ass. So get out of here, little mosquito. Anyway, there's your flywheel. I think that's the flywheel and the starter. I didn't remember that that starter mechanism ran in oil. I remember the stator ran in oil, but I didn't remember that uh, the starter Bendix, whatever you want to call it, right there, ran in oil as well. So I have a choice. If I can find that gasket to put this stator in tonight or tomorrow, whatever, take the old one out, which is not a big deal now that I've got it apart, and try it, or I can wait till the other ones come in, but they're not supposed to come in until Thursday. Um, and I ordered, I got more spark plugs. They already came in. Uh, I'm using 15W40 Royal Purple. It calls for 10W30. Yama Lube, like I said, maybe there's something that burns the stator out, but the, the full synthetic stuff is supposed to dissipate heat better than the other. I've got the fan fixed, as you can see right there so that it runs. It hasn't run for a couple years. Uh, sensor went out and I just hardwired it in a couple weeks ago so that I can run the fan all the time. But these things produce a tremendous amount of heat. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go look for that gasket. If I find that other gasket and that runs right along here around that outside edge, if I find it, I may put it back together and try it what have i lost as long as i'm careful with the gasket i can use it with the new uh setup the stator um i can put it in put this back together in a matter of an hour or something like that if i really apply myself and don't get sidetracked but it would probably cost me a quart of oil quart and a half of oil whatever um, because it will fill that case full the only thing I could do is drain the oil out into a container but I don't even know if I want to take a chance on that it'd be brand new oil though so there you have it check your stuff when you get it this came from Amazon I'm pretty sure I had it in a sealed bag inside of a shipping bag and it said 1998 Grizzly on it. And it's got the right hookups for it. The pins are just oriented wrong. So anyway, um, let me go look for that gasket, like I said. And I may keep working on this tonight, try to put it together. Or I may just say to hell with it for tonight and hit it again tomorrow. Or I may just wait. I don't know. I have another four-wheeler out in the woods stored in my trailer out of the weather anyway it's covered so i do have one that i can use however i prefer this one this is uh, the transmission's better on this one and overall it's performed better but uh, we may have to see what happens all right well thanks for watching again and we'll see you on the next video